Hi everyone and welcome to a review for Beyond the Bright Sea. This is by Lauren Wolk. This is a middle grade. Um, it is a Scott O'Dell Award for Historical Fiction um, is what that has there. And it's just a light blue cover with silver on the spine. So this is a historical fiction. Um, Goodreads does have, someone did tag this as like a mystery. Um, I can kind of see some of the mystery elements, but I would say if you're going into this one wanting mystery, don't. <laughs> it's historical fiction. Um, yeah, I did like it. So we're following mostly the character of Crow is her name. She, when she was a child, washed up on the shore of an island and is being raised now by a man named Osh. There is another character who helps raise Crow, and her name is Miss Maggie. Now, Osh and Miss Maggie do not live together. Um, and so Crow, at one point, kind of wants to figure out more of who she is and where she is from. And Osh is kind of like, but your crow. What else do you need to know? So think of, and you might understand this really more if you've dealt with as far as you being adopted or having an adopted child and then wanting to know about their birth family. I have no experience on either side of the, that. Um, so just to me, it was a good story. As far as how realistic it is, I would assume it is, but I don't know for sure. But I thought it was very sweet. Um, so at one point, Crow, she learns that she's from, um, drifted from the island of Penikes. Now, Penikes is an island where people who had leprosy went and lived and basically lived on Penikes until they died. And Crow drifted from the island. So the island that Crow lives on it starts off with people being like sanitizing things after she touches it because they assume that she has leprosy and there's no indication really that she has leprosy but people keep their distance from her and it you see the effect that that has on a child the relationship between crow and ash is so strong um and it's like a father and daughter relationship and Miss Maggie is kind of like a surrogate mother in a way. But you're following Crow on the path as she tries to discover where she came from, why she came from Penikes, who her parents were, why she was set out to see and find out about her path. That's pretty much this book. Um, the, I would say the big lessons in this for like a middle grade is you can have a family is more than just your blood relation. Even if you're adopted, that can be your family. And it's, you know, family can be a found family. And again, it's not, doesn't have to be just related by blood. So that's, if you're looking for a book about that, this would be a good, a good thing. Now, one thing too, there is this man who is a bad guy in this, who tries to find some treasure and he does... Um, make threats toward Crow, Osh, and Miss Maggie, which you find out more about a little bit later. But just a heads up on that, um, in case, because I, I can see that being a little intimidating and scary to a child. Um, and looking back, like, at how I was, if I was at the target age for this, that probably would have scared me a bit. Um, I mean, it's not overly scary, but would have definitely caused concerns. So just, you know, be aware of that. But I don't know. I just loved, I, I enjoyed it. I don't want to say I loved it. I enjoyed it. I loved the theme of it, of family and a family, not necessarily being blood, but I enjoyed the book. It was kind of like, I'm glad I read it, but will I reread this? I don't know if I'll ever reread this again. Now this is my mom's copy of this. I would not be surprised if at some point, if this sits on her shelf unread for another year or two, that she um, unhauls it. So this is, but it was a decent read, definitely worth the read. I am glad I read this. I don't regret it in any way, um, but yeah. And it's definitely one of those books where now again, 
I am where I am an adult, I could see this. When certain chapters would end, it's like, oh, nothing bad can ever happen now. And reading that, I'm like going, yeah, you've basically just given away that something bad is going to happen. There's a lot of that um, with, oh, this won't ever happen, and then it does, or this will happen, and then it doesn't. So there is quite a bit of that. Um, so I did find that kind of very obvious, but more than likely, is it obvious to me because I am an adult? Would I have not gotten that big, bold clue had I been the target audience? I don't know. But definitely worth a read. Um, I really did like the relationship between Crow and Osh, and I, I really liked the ending. And one of the other things is you learn um, in this, especially the second half of the book, towards the closer it gets toward the ending, is how powerful a name can be and how sacred and how special a name can be and so it does touch on that a little bit and I thought that was very cool as well so yeah three stars you know take that with what you will but yeah I, I liked it I am happy I read it and I did re do this uh, buddy read with my mom and I think she's gonna give it a three star as well so that'll be it for the review of Beyond the Bright Sea by Lauren Wolk. So until next time, stay true to yourself and enjoy a good book, and I'll talk to you later.